What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so I've decided, in this episode right here, we're going to be capturing Mewtwo. Yes guys, you can actually capture Mewtwo in this game, and uh, yeah, trust me, it's not going to be easy. Look at that, I'm so happy. Oh crud. So, yeah, all we gotta do now is we gotta go back into the forest, all the way to the place where we found Wolfric, I think that's what his name was. And, uh, there was, a, there was an area right there where we couldn't go through because, yeah, we were not cool enough to go through that area, you know. And, well, here we are in the winding, the winding woods, and, uh, well, I gotta figure out how to get, get, uh, get the heck out of here and stuff. So, let's see, that's probably the wrong way. So, yes, Mewtwo. Oh, God. I haven't tried to capture this guy in quite some time, and yes, I get it, it's laggy. It's going to be okay, guys. Hold on just a sec. Let's see. Right here. We paused. Okay, alrighty, so here we are. Let's go back and, uh, we'll walk around here while it's still laggy. Oh, look at that! The quality has gone up. So, let's see. I'm trying to find my way around this place right here, and, uh, the last time I've been here, I went through every single crevice around this area. I wonder if that's what it's called. Caught a, a few good Pokemon off screen. You know, did a few th a few good things, got a few items and all that stuff, and well, let's see. Not only that, but we can we actually went straight for Wolfric, and I believe yes, okay, so that was easy. So here we are, guys, in the Pokemon Village. If you guys may have remembered, you can actually find a bunch of Pokemon right here. Now, there is one little thing that you might might see first. Is this? You're gonna be going up against a Pokemon right here, like Guthrie. And, uh, well, I'm not going to do that because, uh, yeah, trust me. Trust me on that one. Do not want to got the read. And now, off screen, I have been capturing a lot of Pokemon. One for my Pokedex right here, and the other one just for, you know, other specific reasons, like, you know, sending them the Pokemon Sword and Shield and all that stuff. So, let's see. Hmm. Where or oh, where? Okay, there they are. Okay, so here it is. Super, super repel this thing, that way we don't get attacked by any Pokemon right now. And, uh, well, there is a slow uh, Snorlax right there. No, you cannot capture that guy. And uh, there are quite a few items here that we have yet to get. Probably because we didn't come in, come in here and visit. I think... I, I came here off screen just to get a, a move, but I could, I could be mistaken. Hold on. Let's see. No, that doesn't ring any bells. Now, you can't capture a Pokemon right there through the, uh, whatchamacallit, the trash can. And this guy here is looking at you. It's the first time I've ever seen this guy. Now, if you do have a Pokemon with Waterfall, you'll be able to go on top of the, uh, the hill where this cave is located. And, well, let's see. We gotta, we gotta take a look at this place because I kind of feel like I actually went here, Oscar, before we went to the Pokemon League. So, let's see. Oh, we don't have Waterfall. We will take care of that a little bit later, but as you can, t you can tell, nobody's right there, you know, preventing us from doing anything. So, what's going to happen right now is I'm actually going to be switching out Pokemon. Yeah, Bonesaw is not going to be in the front. Uh, yeah. So, Mewtwo. Pretty strong Pokemon. In the original games, you can actually capture this Pokemon really easily. Uh, you can actually use a Master Ball, and even though I do have a Master Ball, I am not going to use it on this Pokemon because, uh, well, let's see, there is another Pokemon that I can capture with it, or, you know what? One of these, one of these three legendary Pokemon I can capture with the Master Ball. They're not really roaming Pokemon, but it's just right there just to capture it. If anything, it's my last resort. Probably not gonna make a mistake like the, like the last time in Pokemon Black, but here we are in the Unknown Dungeon, and good old Mewtwo is waiting for us right there, staring blankly onto the floor. But before we do anything, it's always good to save, guys, because, yeah, trust me, you don't want to mess up. So, oh, God. All right, let us pray. Dear Arceus, stay out of this. Let's go. Oh, damn. It says Mew. Okay, so here it is, guys, our next legendary Pokemon battle, and it's against Mewtwo. This guy right here is one of the most powerful Pokemon out there. The special attack hits through the roof. Trust me, guys. This guy is going to try and knock you out. So what you need to do is you either be, need to put this guy to sleep or paralyze it, which I'm going to do right now. And this guy, of course, likes to defend himself with barrier with... Uh, 
what was it, Reflect and all that stuff. But luckily for me, I do have Thunder Wave just to paralyze this guy, get it a little slow, enable it, or, well, you know, make sure it doesn't do anything, uh, it doesn't make a fast move or anything. So, here we go, Shadow Ball. Gonna try and weaken this guy, and of course, if I hit it one more time with a, with a Shadow Ball, that's not going to be good. So, now I'm going to have to try and hit it with uh, something... Uh, it won't necessarily something it won't necessarily kill it so let's go with a psychic attack right here come on Gaia do not kill Mewtwo and whoo okay it was a critical hit and the special defense has lowered so yeah now I probably should have thrown a quick ball at it because uh, that probably would have increased my chances so what is going to happen is I'm actually gonna throw a dust ball at it mainly because we're in a cave so make sure to have dust balls guys quick balls for that you know quick attack for that quick capture a lot of ultra balls timer balls are good come on stay in there oh yes oh jesus okay i i okay i'm not going to lie guys i thought i was going to be in for a battle of my life but that was a uh, that was easy holy crap that was easy all right okay so we captured mewtwo What's up? What's up? Now, I know many of you guys are going to be coming down below saying, well, Munching Orange captured it with a quick ball first turn. Well, good for him! But this one right here, I actually thought this was going to be like a battle of a lifetime. So, here we have Mewtwo, the genetic Pokemon, psychic type Pokemon, 6 feet, 7 inches, or 7 milligrams, or whatever it is. It weighs 269 pounds of pure muscle. It was created by a scientist after years of horrific, uh, horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. Very, very uh, mean Pokemon, and no, I will not nickname this Pokemon because, well, it's a legendary. Yes, I know. Leaf Green, I named, uh, nicknamed it uh, Frieza, but that's not the case right here. So, look at that, we captured uh, Mewtwo. And after capturing Mewtwo, you will get the Mewtwo Knight X and... Uh, well, yeah, depending on what version you're playing, you'll get, you'll get a Mewtwo Knight well, a Mewtwo Knight, but it it's either X or Y. I believe the Y one will make it into, or the X one will make it into a fighting slash psychic type Pokemon. The X or the Y version will be will be a pure psychic type. So that is a that is a something good to uh, to know. Alrighty. So now that we've done that. I might as well just check what's going on right here because I did say that there is something upstairs and uh, yeah, hold on just a second. Now that was just very uh, anticlimactic. I'm not going to lie, it was very anticlimactic. Where the hell is a uh, waterfall? Huh. You mean to tell me I never got waterfall? Oh, there it is. Never mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and teach Greninja uh, waterfall, Kakashi Hatake, and well. Let's see. Oh, I could reteach it, Ice Beam, eventually. Uh, yeah. At this point in time, guys, I'm just going to be, you know, exploring stuff, battling some people here. Uh, like I've said in previous versions, uh, Pokemon X, uh, or Pokemon X and Y series kind of did a, uh, a mediocre job with, like, you know, the after game. Really, there's only three legendary Pokemon that you need to capture afterwards. Mewtwo, Zygarde, and a legendary bird from Kanto. Now, the the bird all depends on, or depends on uh, what start you started with. And then there's the Looker, you know, series that you guys can do, and which, well, you know, I'm probably going to be doing just to complete this whole thing right here. And, well, I was wrong. Look at that. We found ourselves the TM29 Psychic. Okay, alrighty. So we got that out of the picture, and uh, well, let's see. Again, that was very anticlimactic. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because it, it's going to have. It's going to need to. Be, it needs to be done. Uh, I just need to get to that place. So after defeating the Pokemon League, there's quite a few things that are enabled, like getting Mewtwo, Zygarde. There was one thing that we forgot, or that we didn't get to do. Uh, during the little walk around the, the area. So that's what I'm going to try and do right now. I'm going to try and enable the... I'm going to try and enable the whole legendary bird thing. Now, it doesn't matter where you go. Just go into a patch of grass and right there you'll find them, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I wonder if my repel wear off. I don't know. Come on. Where are you? You're here somewhere. Or better yet, let's just walk around. Okay, no repel. 
walk around, and there he is. Okay, so once you see that flashlight, it doesn't matter where, you will be finding a legendary bird. Mine happens to be Moltres. And after that, nothing appears. Moltres is just going to be looking at you, and then it begins. Wild Moltres has fled. So that's that. Now, again, guys, it doesn't really matter where you go. I'm, well, the beginning of the uh, the beginning route. That's the place that you will not find it. But it doesn't matter where else you'll you'll find your legendary bird. But now, we enable to go locate this Pokemon right here. You'll actually have to try and find it ten times in order to actually get it to sit still, which is something that I'm going to do off screen. It's going to take me a long time, guys. Trust me. It's going to take me a long time, but eventually we will find that legendary bird Pokemon. Now, remember, the legendary bird Pokemon depends on the starter that you started with. Now, I got, I got myself a, uh, was it? A uh, Finnegan? No, not Finnegan. What the hell? Uh, 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 fuck, I forgot his name. You know, the frog Pokemon, the water type Pokemon. So, of course, water is better than, and then fire. So, Mulch is going to be coming out. If you guys had a uh, Chestnut or Finnegan, you know, the typing that's weaker to them will appear so yeah <laughs> yeah that's uh, explaining 101 from good old draven himself so that is pretty much it right there guys let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest pokemon mewtwo and uh, there's going to be something of a surprise once we get to the pc as well because uh we defeated the elite four and all that stuff so let's go ahead and uh, go right here we're booting it up going to cassius page he says, congratulations, wallpapers were added to commemorate your first time clearing the game. Okay, so, actually, hold on. Let's go right ahead and not withdraw, Jesus. Should probably do not do that. So let's go ahead and organize boxes right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Mewtwo that we caught. Summary, right here. So, as you probably already noticed, Mewtwo, it has a pressure, pressure as, it's a, as its effect, and well, its, spe it's special attack is its, you know, it's its big, big time thing. As you already know, it does have Aurora Sphere as a fighting type move because it does Mega Evolve into uh, Mewtwo X. And of course, it does have Inanimate Nature. Now, of course, it is the 12th of November. Yes, I know, I probably should have been uploading more videos from here than, that, than I should have, but guess what? I've been busy, guys, but there it is, guys. Mewtwo has been uh, captured. Now, in our next adventure, we are going to be capturing Zygarde. And then, uh, well, somewhere along the way, we're going to try and find that Moltres and then capture it. Trust me, guys, it's going to be a it's going to be a bumpy ride. But we're going to capture all these Pokemon. So, thank you guys again for watching this episode. I will see you guys next time.